in this video i am going to discuss some of the uh, important questions that would have already come in your mind or uh, will be coming to you later on so these questions are uh, fairly trivial and and easy to answer but for a fresher somebody new to the analytics uh, you know it actually uh, bothers you a lot uh, knowing the fact that what are the what what, what does that this mean and what are the differences between different type of uh, questions and uh, and it is always good to have clarity before you can actually get started with so the first question <clears throat> that you would have already uh, you would have already asked yourself is that what is predictive analytics well we talk about analytics but uh, people actually talk about predictive analytics well this is just a fancy word because analytics mostly deals with predictions so uh, they are actually should not have a different name that okay predictive analytics okay because analytics in most of the times deals with prediction knowing the future forecasting things okay so you want to know something before it happens so uh, you know calling it predictive analytics is just another fancy name there's no difference at all but yes the only difference is that there is something known as descriptive analytics okay uh, descriptive analytics so uh, hence uh, people distinct des uh, predictive analytics with descriptive analytics well descriptive analytics mostly deal with what has already happened you just an try to analyze what has already happened and you don't want to uh, predict something for future so uh, descriptive analytics is mostly related to doing the reporting work okay we just want to show the dashboards uh, about about sales or anything uh, we don't really care uh, if if that really speaks about the future or not so we so people wanted to like you know distinct um, the uh, predictive analytics from the descriptive one and give it a new name so but yeah that broke that pretty much the same uh, predictive analytics is nothing but analytics only so what is the difference between analytics and data science well the word data science is very very new um, and in fact uh, um, it was used for the first time in 1999 in one of the presentation in the university of michigan and it has gained popularity after uh, uh, you know in the recent times in the last four or five years so there is no definition of data science actually well data science is is nothing but uh, it's not a it's not a science at the first place it's not it's not an academic discipline yet um, well it is a combination of statistics computer science operation research economics econometrics uh, psychometry and so on so subjects or the academic discipline uh, in ways uh, there is you know we deal with a lot of data and you combine these things and you call it data science and one of the reason this discipline has actually come out is because um, the i mean analytics was already there why people started using data science is because of the volume of the data so that's one of the reason why people gave it a new name primarily when we, we we talk about analytics we deal about small data maybe 100 data 500 data 1 lakh data points or you know maybe 10 lakhs data points but uh, but the volume of data has actually grown uh, to like uh, billions and trillions of uh, you know data points in in the database so uh, the techniques uh, used for analyzing the small data cannot be used to analyze large data set or big data hence there is a need of slightly modifying the techniques okay and hence people started uh, calling uh, or started uh, having a different discipline altogether uh, calling it as data science but yes they are pretty much the same thing it's a it's a debate between going on between people whether analytics is anyway difference with uh, different than data science or they are same or there is a difference well you should not be confused with that they are essentially the same 
So what is the difference between data mining and analytics? Uh, well, data mining again is pretty similar to data science. Uh, just that this field has actually come from the computer science, uh, you know, academic discipline. Um, and it's mostly academic in nature. So even there is a huge degree of overlap between data mining and uh, analytics. Okay. Uh, another question that uh, you would have already come across or probably will be coming across is what is econometrics? Well, this is not very popular nowadays. It's losing its popularity. But yes, econometrics is one area based on which the analytics field has uh, developed to this extent. So econometrics is about quantitative techniques used for statistical analysis or, or economic research. So um, um, this is one academic discipline uh, in which uh, we study how to uh, predict something for future and how to analyze the causal effect between uh, two, two quantities. Um, so that's one academic discipline. So and, and the next question is what is the difference between uh, econometrics and statistical modeling well econometrics is actually a part of statistics um, although the word econometrics has actually come from economics research because economists use a lot of statistical model for doing research uh, hence a different discipline so you don't need to confuse with that they're essentially the same thing whether you call econometrics modeling or statistical modeling it doesn't make much of a difference it's, it's just that uh, there are different set of people who are using uh, the same same uh, techniques but yeah for different purposes and the next question is very important what is machine learning well in the recent time machine learning is actually becoming more popular than econometrics as a uh, as the analytical set of analytical techniques for analytics or data science while econometrics was related to analytics, uh, machine learning is now being associated with uh, data science. Um, machine learning is a field that has actually come from computer science, artificial intelligence and, and engineering disciplines. Whereas econometrics is uh, coming mostly from uh, social sciences. So, um, well, a lot of there is also a overlap between machine learning and econometrics. The purpose is same. But the ways of doing things in econometrics and machine learning could be somewhat different. But uh, they are equally effective. There are uh, merits and demerits in, in both. So uh, we will talk about it later on. The next uh, questions and perhaps the most important questions uh, listed here is what is big data? Okay. Well, there is no definition what is big data. This is, uh, people call it a hype or people call it, uh, it's actually reality. Well, big data is nothing but a large volume of data. Okay. And again, what is large is subjective and we don't know what is large. But yeah, people have come up with different uh, types of, uh, uh, you know, definition of it. Uh, recently, I read an article where it says that big data, whether your data is big data or not, depends on four Vs. Okay, the volume, uh, okay, what is the size of the data and the variety, what type of data are you getting, text data, uh, you know, it could be visual data, uh, anything, right, it could be uh, audio, video, it could be anything, image, uh, so variety of data and then velocity. So volume, variety, velocity, uh, and I guess, um, I think the last one is frequency, but the word should start with V. So how frequently you are getting data. So these four uh, things decide whether a data is big enough or not, uh, is, uh, is qualifying. Uh, to be called as big data or not 
and big data is primarily related to the digital data because we get a lot of data from uh, smartphone nowadays from social media from twitter twitter uh, social media like twitter facebook um, and from different sensors uh, so that is all about big data so what is big data analytics well when we do some analytics or some analysis on large volume of data or a variety of data it could not be it, it may not be uh, you know very clean data but messy data uh, so we call it uh, big data analytics and machine learning is primarily used on big data analysis so what is hadoop okay so you might have heard about hadoop well hadoop is just a tool um, uh, it has gained popularity because of its ability to do high-end computing uh, in terms of analyzing or in terms of consolidating large volume of data so what hadoop does is that it computes using clusters of computers or servers so uh, the computing capability of uh, hadoop is way more than a single computer because it combines the computing powers uh, so so that's the reason why hadoop is so popular so it's popular for big data analytics another question is that should be coming in your mind that should i learn saas or r well saas or for that matter should i learn a proprietary software or a free software a free statistical uh, programming language well well uh, um, i don't know the answer correctly but um, it like you have merits and demerits of both SaaS is the market leader. Most of the jobs are in SaaS, but R is getting popularity, or people say that R is the future. Uh, and there is a lot of scope uh, in R, although it's speaking slowly, but yes, it's getting pop popularity in the recent times. But SaaS is still the market leader, uh, and uh, and uh, most of the jobs are in uh, in SaaS. Like the large organizations use SaaS. Uh, as as their tool instead of the free software uh, another question could be uh, should i learn machine learning or statistical modeling i have talked about machine learning and statistical modeling so one would be thinking like which route should i take should i go for a machine learning or statistical modeling well it depends on so many things it depends on your background if you are uh, a maths uh, or a computer science uh, graduate or that kind of a field coming from that kind of field machine learning will suit you more but if you come from social science background or uh, or, or even you are from engineering or any background even science background um, you can actually go in for statistical modeling again there is a high degree of overlap between these two fields um, and uh, but but and, and this is fairly new machine learning is fairly new statistical modeling has been there for hundreds of years now in the field of actuary in the field of financial research and all that or even economic research um, again in the job market statistical modeling still leads most of the jobs are in the statistical modeling field but machine learning is gaining popularity because of the big data so and you can also afford to learn both there is no reason why you can't learn both uh, you can start with machine learning and learn statistical modeling or you can start with statistical modeling and learn machine learning uh, there is an overlap so it will be very easy if you learn one of them and you know learn the other one later on so so not be a confusion at the beginning but yes if i were to recommend somebody i'll say okay start with statistical modeling and then later on you can learn machine learning that's the way i learned and i found machine learning fairly easy to learn after i have learned uh, a, a bit of uh, statistical modeling 